Hello, this is Richard Skipper, and once again, welcome to Richard Skipper Presents. Today I want to answer two questions. The first question is from Stefan Artist, and he wants to know if there are any roles that I really would like to play that I haven't played yet. Well, there's actually one role that I'm dying to play, and that's the man in the chair in The Drowsy Chaperone. From the moment that I saw this show on Broadway, I felt that this is a role that I would really love to do. Um, it's very interesting because when the show came out, uh, the producer said that after the show, night after night after night, uh, men would walk up to them and say, that role is really about me. Well, I don't think that it's truly about me because it's about a miserable older man who is all alone and has nothing to live for except for his cast albums. But he does have the passion of one particular show, and, uh, and I feel that uh, that show for me would be Hello, Dolly, which brings me to the other role that I would like to play. Believe it or not, I would love to play Dolly Levi as Carol Channing played Dolly Levi, and I got the chance to do that a few years ago in a production with the Revision Theater. Now, that was supposed to be a one-night-only concert version, but uh, I was completely off book, and because I was off book, the entire cast got off the book, and it was one of those exciting nights where all the stops were pulled, and uh, it was a huge success, and the Revision Theater keeps dangling the string in front of me that they're going to be bringing back in a few years. Um, as I get older, I find that there aren't that many roles that I'm dying to play. Uh, I love being Richard Skipper on stage in front of an audience. I love to have the opportunity to go out and perform uh, as Richard Skipper, and uh, so hopefully uh, I'll get more of those opportunities. Now, my next question is from a cabaret entertainer by the name of Lari Vega. And Laura said that she basically flip-flops. She has a show coming up at Don't Tell Mama, I think uh, tomorrow night, Friday night, and she wanted to know if I have any tips for her in terms of utilizing social marketing and how to build an audience. Well, Laurie, I have to ask you, she also wanted to know if uh, she should hire a publicist or not. Well, I have to ask you what your goals are with the show. Uh, if your show is just to come out every few months and do a show just for the fun of it and have your friends and family and fans come and see you, that's wonderful. I think one of the big problems that people make in cabaret today is they don't reach beyond their own borders. They don't reach beyond uh, what I call the three F's, friends, family, and fans. And you have to think about Joe Smith from Idaho, who him and his wife are visiting in New York, and they decide to go see a cabaret show. They know nothing about Laurie Vega. Are they going, what's going to be the hook, the thread that's going to bring them in? Do you have a show that's universal, that's going to appeal to all audiences, or is your show specifically geared to your, once again, friends, family, and fans? Uh, what I would suggest doing is putting a show together that uh, is going to have universal appeal, appeal. Don't think about doing a show, for example, at Don't Tell Mama or the Metropolitan Room or the Laurie Beachman or the Duplex or any of the other rooms that are in New York, but plan on doing a show outside of New York and put a show together that's going to appeal to a wider range of audiences. Now, I, in terms of specific questions, uh, I would think about uh, what your goals are uh, in terms of whether this is a hobby or whether this is a career. If it's a career, I hate to say this, but you need to invest in all of the elements that it's going to take to make a successful show. And sometimes having a publicist, someone who doesn't necessarily know who your friends and family and fans are, they're going to reach beyond your borders. And I think the biggest mistake that most people in cabaret today are making is they do not reach beyond the cabaret community. The problem is that our cabaret community has become a very incestuous group of people. The lines are very blurred between who the audiences are, who the performers are, who the press is, who the critics are, and I don't think that many people really reach beyond the cabaret and Mac community in terms of building up an audience for themselves. Uh, you really have to uh, go on and uh, you know work at it day after day after day. Now, I, my time is right, running out here, but before we close down, I'd like to remind everyone once again to please sign my petition for uh, the Carol Channing Kennedy Center Honor. Uh, you can go to www.richardskipper.com 
or you can go to about.me slash Richard Skipper. And in the meantime, have a great day, have a creative day, and uh, I'll be looking forward to that next question next week. Thank you.